Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another Morales tutorial video. Today, we are going to give a check to the Get NFT Data Endpoint for the Morales APA. This returns the data and the metadata for any NFT if we provide the token ID and the contract address. So at the end, we are going to have something like this. Let's provide here the contract address, a token ID, and the chain, let's sell it Ethereum, and boom, we are going to have the information for any NFT Another token ID? No problem. Boom, we have the information for this NFT. So just like that, we are going to have a way to read the metadata for any NFT for a marketplace or maybe an NFT gallery. Usually getting a NFT metadata is a complicated process because it depends a lot on the marketplace, how the contract is managed, how the token you write is managed, and a lot of factors more. So this tends to be really time consuming and not easy at all. So let's check the Morales way. Here, providing the exact same address, token ID for the Ethereum blockchain and clicking try it, we get the actual response with all the information we need, who is the owner, the token URA, and of course, all the metadata. For today's demo, we are using React on the front end and Django as our Python backend framework. So let's change this to Python and copy the script Morales provide us. Here I already have a Django project prepared with an empty script called services.py. So let's paste this here and let's provide the token ID and the address. And also we are going to need our API key. So if you don't have a Morales account yet, this is the part of the video when you hit pause, go to morales.io create a free account and get your API key, which is going to be here in your admin panel, Web3 APIs. So let's copy this, go back to our code and paste it here. Now let's see if this works. Don't forget to first install Morales with pip install Morales. And now we are ready to run this code. So Python services.py, enter. And as you can see here, we get this response. So now let's take this code and make it in something more useful for us. So basically, I'm going to transform this into a function which is going to take the address, the token ID and the chain as parameters. And with the magic of addition, here we have this function get NFT metadata, which gets those variables as parameters. Also remember that using your API key into your code is a security risk. So let's transform this into an environment variable as well. So now we are going to store our API key on this .m file. And if you want to push it to a code repo like GitHub, just don't forget to add this file to a gitignore. With that said, this script is ready to be used. So here on the project views, first don't forget to import that services.py. So from that services, import get NFT metadata. And also we are going to import JSON. So here in a new view called get metadata, we are going to get those input variables from the front end. So the chain is going to be equal to request get.get chain, the address the same, and the token ID exactly the same. Let's use that function now. So NFT metadata is going to be equal to get NFT metadata and with the address, the token ID on the chain. And just to be cautious, we are not going to use positional arguments. So let's just say address equal to address, token ID equals to token ID and chain equals to chain. This function is going to return a Python dictionary, but our poor little JavaScript is not capable to understand Python dictionaries, so let's transform this into a JSON. So JSON metadata equals json.dumps NFT metadata and just return this JSON metadata. So return a HTT response of the JSON metadata. And that's it. The only thing left for the backend is to take this view and set it up on the URLs. Of course, don't forget to import the views from your project. And here, let's create a new path. So, path get metadata, views .get metadata. And also, as we want to use relative paths, we are going to give this a name. Name get metadata. Let's save this. And this is all for the backend. Let's connect this to the front end. So here on my frontend project, I'm going to create a proxy on localhost, but import 8000 because it's the default for Django server routing locally. 
To connect to Django, we are going to use Axios. If you don't have it, don't forget to use npm install Axios. And in our application, we just have to import it. So import Axios from Axios. And let's use it. Here I have an empty function called refresh metadata. So let's use this app. The wait, axios.get. Let's connect to that endpoint. So slash get metadata question mark and we want to send these variables chain address and token id which are stored on these params and params is already connected to these input fields so let's use the map chain is going to be equal params dot chain address is going to be equal to params dot address and token ID exactly the same. If this goes well, we are going to use a then statement. And for now, we are just going to console.log the response. And finally, always as a good practice, let's use a catch statement to see if something went wrong. And I also have this refresh metadata connected to this get NFTs button. So let's give it a try. Let's use the same parameters as before. So the same contract address, token ID, and for the Ethereum chain. And let's hit get NFTs. And as you can see here, we get the actual response with all the information we need for this NFT, including the metadata on this normalized metadata section. So the only thing left for us is to take this JSON response and show it down here. So back to the code. Instead of using this console.log, let's use this set NFTs metadata. So now all the response information is stored on this NFTs metadata, so let's use it. Down here I already prepared a card, which is going to render this NFTs metadata. So let's put the information over here. The image is going to be NFTs metadata. Dot normalized metadata dot image. Which other parameters we should use? Well, that depends on you. Just go back to the JSON response and select the ones you think are the most important. So I'm going to fill this information really quick. So after taking the most important information out the metadata, I have this card ready. So let's give it a try. Let's put the contract address here, the token ID, or the Ethereum chain, and boom, we get the exact same result as I showed you at the beginning of the video. Remember, you can use here any other ID you want, and then you can have the information for that specific NFT. That was really easy, isn't it? With just this small portion of code, we were able to take the information of the data and the metadata of any NFT or any EVM compatible blockchain. How cool is that? That was it for today's video. Don't forget all the code for this lesson is on the GitHub repo, so don't forget to check out the video description. And as you are already here, click here to subscribe and turn on the notifications. And also click here to learn more about Morales technology and see more videos. I'm serious. Click it. Do it now. Go ahead. See more videos. You did it? Nice. See you on the next occasion. Bye.